Hi, my name is Dave and I'm always doing my best to give you accurate information. And while I'm certainly not pioneering most of the stuff I do, the people that did it before me didn't document it very well. So I've made a couple of videos now about vacuum blocks for ITBs. And lucky for you and me, some people commented that the information in there is incorrect. And while I didn't believe them at first, when I actually understood what was happening, I agree. Unless you have some crazy elaborate setup like Paul Corolla does, do not connect the PCV to vacuum. Just run it to a catch tank. Do not copy my videos telling you to do it, it's wrong. When I was doing the research to set this stuff up, I read that it was okay to do it, and on top of that, the vacuum block that came with my ITBs had a fitting for it. But why is it wrong? The vacuum block is a sealed area for vacuum. We need to keep that in mind. It's sealed. Now the rocker cover on the 3SGE in the Alteza has two holes in it. One has a PCV stuck in it and the other is just a pipe. The PCV opens when vacuum is applied to it and allows oil vapor from the rocker cover to be pulled through it and burned off. The pipe is there to replenish the air that the PCV just let out. Air pulled out will pull new air in. Physics. The problem with that is, one, the vacuum block isn't a place where oil vapor could be burned off. And two, as we said before, the vacuum block needs to be sealed. When connected to the PCV under vacuum, it is indirectly open to outside air through that pipe. That's bad. It's a weird acting vacuum leak. Trust me when I say you don't want that. 